Let me ask you something that your mechanic never will. Have you ever wondered why your car's performance feels off, even though every sensor says it's fine? Why your fuel economy suddenly drops, or why the engine hesitates like it's lost confidence in itself? Here's the uncomfortable truth. You're probably ignoring the one sensor that silently controls everything, from acceleration to fuel injection, engine power to air-fuel ratio. It's called the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF. And no, this isn't some random tech part. This one tiny device literally tells your engine how to breathe. It decides how much fuel to inject, how fast to respond, how clean to burn, and how long your engine survives. But when it goes bad, it doesn't scream. It doesn't throw a dashboard tantrum. It fails silently, like a virus hiding in your system, corrupting everything from performance to mileage to emissions. And the worst part? Most people never realize it, until their engine chokes itself to death, one misfire at a time. Still think it's just a small sensor? Let me brainwash you with a brutal fact. A failing math sensor is worse than a dead one. Because when it's dead, your car throws a code. When it's failing, it lies. It sends half-truths to your computer. It tricks your car into thinking everything's fine, while burning twice the fuel and choking your catalytic converter from the inside. You start blaming your fuel, your throttle body, your spark plugs. But the real traitor? It's this innocent-looking MAF sensor sitting quietly in your intake system, sabotaging everything. And now, right here, right now, I'm going to expose all 15 hidden signs that your MAF sensor is going bad. Not the basic ones everyone talks about. Not the Google copy-paste list. I'm talking about deep internal clues. The stuff your ECU notices but never tells you. The signals your exhaust whispers at night. The way your engine idles nervously. Or the reason your RPMs fluctuate like it has stage fright. We'll dive into real symptoms, from erratic shifts to stealthy fuel surges. And I'll also reveal dark bypass tricks your mechanic won't dare tell you. Because if you knew them, you wouldn't need him. This video isn't just information, it's engine survival. Because if you don't learn how to recognize, fix, or bypass a failing MAF sensor today, you'll soon be pouring money into bigger problems that never needed to exist. So if you're tired of vague check engine lights, tired of wasting fuel while your car gasps for air, tired of playing detective while the real criminal's hiding in plain sight, then keep watching. Because by the end of this video, you'll either fix your engine's secret saboteur or keep paying the price for your own silence. Your car is talking. It's time you finally listen. 1. Engine hesitation during acceleration. Your foot presses the pedal, but the engine pauses like it's asking permission to move. That delay? It's not laziness. It's your math sending corrupted data. The ECU doesn't know how much air is coming in, so it waits, confused. This hesitation is not a lag. It's a warning. 2. Sudden drop in fuel efficiency. You're burning more fuel not because you're driving harder, but because your math is whispering lies to the fuel injectors, telling them to dump excess fuel into an already rich mixture. It's bleeding you, one liter at a time. 3. Hard starts, especially cold starts. Morning starts feel like your car forgot how to breathe. That's because a dirty or failing math sensor throws off the initial air-fuel mix too rich or too lean, and the engine chokes before it fires. This is how slow death begins. 4. Rough or unstable idle. It idles like it's nervous. RPMs dance, dip, surge, like your engine's having second thoughts. That erratic breathing is the math misreading airflow in real time. It's not your spark plugs, it's sabotage. 5. Black smoke from exhaust. Visible smoke means incomplete combustion. The math is miscalculating airflow, leading the ECU to overfuel. Unburned fuel exits through the tailpipe as thick smoke, slowly poisoning your catalytic converter. If your exhaust looks sick, your math is the infection. 6. Engine stalls for no reason. You come to a stop and the engine just dies. No warning, no codes. That's the math sensor sending zero airflow info when it's needed most, at idle. It's not a stall, it's a strangulation. 7. Surging while driving at constant speed. Ever felt your car randomly surge forward like it's catching a breath? That's a corrupted air signal. 
The math spikes airflow data, the ECU reacts, and your throttle responds like it's on drugs. That surge, it's your engine, gasping in confusion. 8. Lean or rich fuel mixture codes. P0171, P0172. These codes look innocent, but they're often decoys. Mechanics will blame oxygen sensors or vacuum leaks. But the truth? If the math lies, the entire air fuel algorithm breaks. Blame the root, not the leaves. 9. Transmission shifting weirdly. Yes, your math can mess with your gearbox. Why? Because transmission shift timing partially depends on engine load. And if the math gives false airflow data, your ECU miscalculates load and your gears misbehave. Shifting issues aren't always mechanical, they're logical. 10. Engine misfires under load, going uphill or overtaking, and you feel the engine stumble. That's a misfire. The math is failing under pressure, delivering incorrect data when airflow is rapidly changing. It's not spark, it's suffocation. 11. Check engine light, randomly appears, then disappears. A flaky MAF sensor won't always trigger a code, but when it does, it's often erratic. P0101, P0102, P0103, flashing once, then gone. You think it's solved, but your engine knows. The cancer's still growing. 12. Strange whistling or suction noises. Not from the engine, but near the air intake. A clogged or cracked MAF sensor messes with airflow acoustics. Listen closely. It's your intake screaming for help. This isn't wind, it's resistance. 13. Sudden power loss during driving. You're cruising and suddenly your engine feels like it's pulling a trailer. Flat, weak, disconnected. That's the MAF failing mid-load, telling the ECU there's no air when you need power most. This isn't normal aging, it's mechanical betrayal. 14. Increased emissions and failed pollution test. Failing emissions doesn't always mean a bad catalytic converter. A faulty MAF causes your engine to burn dirty, releasing excess NOx and hydrocarbons. The smog isn't from the tailpipe. It starts at the sensor. 15. You replace everything and nothing works. New spark plugs, new coils, new fuel filter. Still rough? That's the final trap. MAF sensor failures are so stealthy, they lead you down a diagnostic rabbit hole. You fix the effects, but never the cause. Until now. Bonus. Fix and bypass tricks. Tease this for next part or link. Now that you recognize the signs, what if I told you that you don't always have to replace the MAF? There are dirty bypass tricks, from temporary disconnects to sensor rescaling using resistors or tuning software, and even strategic ECU relearns that can reset or override a dying sensor. But use them wisely. Because once you understand how to manipulate airflow data, you're no longer just a driver, you're a system hacker. And the system never expects you to fight back. So, now you know. Your engine didn't just wear out, it was slowly assassinated by a sensor no one told you to question. The mass airflow sensor didn't break with a bang, it corrupted your system in silence. Stealing power, wasting fuel, lying to your ECU, and making you pay for the crime it committed. But here's the real twist. How many of you have already replaced plugs, coils, filters, even the catalytic converter, only to realize the problem was never there to begin with? Be honest. Drop your confession in the comments. I was chasing the wrong problem. Or if you've caught this demon early, type MAF exposed. Let's see how many car owners were fooled by this quiet killer. Let's see how many mechanics never mentioned it. Let's see how many engines we can save before it's too late. And if you want the bypass tricks, the step-by-step -step fix, or want me to decode MOF sensor lies from live data using just your phone, say the word in the comments. I want the bypass guide. I read every comment. Because the fight against these silent faults starts with truth. And you just heard it. Now what will you do with it?